one of the first religious movements to take root on American soil was the one we know today as the Christian Church, Disciples of Christ. The denomination's beginnings lie in a movement of the early 1800s, seeking to recover the ways of the early Christians. The founders of our church believed in Christian unity. No creed but Christ emerged as the unifying message. One of those founders was Barton W. Stone, a Presbyterian minister in Cane Ridge, Kentucky, who denounced all human creeds and appealed to the Bible as the only rule of faith. Other founders were Thomas Campbell and his son, Alexander. They came to America from Scotland in the 1800s and championed a reasonable, common-sense approach to faith. They, too, believed the church should be united for the sake of the world. If Alexander Campbell and Barton W. Stone were to come today, they would recognize the principles that they held so dear. The Disciples of Christ is a church where all are welcome. Very ecumenical and embraces the community at large, and that's what excites me about it. We speak in English and Spanish and French Creole. Everyone is invited to be on a mission together to make the world a better place. Live beyond the barriers of race, uh, ethnic groups, economics, class, whatever, uh, to become the family of God as Christ intended. It's, it's an amazing group of people that really reflect the face of God. Historically, the disciples have been folks who are independent thinkers. They're not telling you to check your brain at the door. We ask you to come to the table with your questions. I think that the disciples are much more open-minded. What holds us together is belief in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I just like that, that sense of independence that the different congregations have. The um, confession of faith in Jesus Christ, our openness at the table, our passion for Christian unity is something that has always been key to us. We gather every Sunday around the communion table and we come together as one family and we, we imagine that Christ Jesus is sitting there hosting us. And uh, have a new identity and go out as a new people of God. So we, we really get, some people said, energized at the uh, table of the Lord. It is around that table that we find our life, we find our center, we find our focus. It is in celebration of the Lord's Supper that we are already made one regardless of our backgrounds, regardless of our difference in understanding and belief. Communion reminds me every day that I am invited to be part of God's global mission. One of the things about disciples is that we really want to make a difference. Disciples of Christ is a church where work really gets done. People put activity and caring for others into a practical purpose on a daily basis. We come every week to worship. It's not just to hear, hear the message and for us to just, you know, hold it into our heart and just live that way, but it's, we have to be the disciples and we have to go out into the world we love giving to our people. We love doing for our people. It's not about us. It's about God. Worship inspires us into mission and work, and the mission and work inspires our worship. We've had people around the world for a hundred years being in partnership with communities as far away as India and Africa. The Division of Overseas Ministries and Global Ministries are engaged in mission with partners in about 90 countries and with the presence of missionaries in over 50 countries. 
And so from our doorsteps to the ends of the earth gives us an opportunity to practice ministry uh, the way Jesus intended. We want to actually get out there and get our hands dirty and working and making a difference in the lives of people in the name of God. Our new church movement has amazed us all. We set a goal to start a thousand new churches by the year 2020, but it turns out that um, we were perhaps even understating what was possible. God has a plan in the future for us, and a future for us as disciples, that the best is yet to come. And we have a message to give to the world, um, and, and, and we have that in every community where we are. So we bring to the church a balance of interpretation, but we understand that Christ is the center, and the Bible is the revelation of God through his word. leaders, new congregations who are responding to the needs of our world. The importance of new leadership is of, is of high value to us. Currently right now we have a, a, a bunch of people in seminaries preparing for ministry. We have a lot of people different ages in colleges, universities. I mean we have professionals. We have great lay leaders that come from different parts of the world. Trying to work towards transformation within the disciples is a way of living out the fact that um, God is, is still calling us to something. Transformation of our church is important for a lot of reasons. The church must be an itinerant body. It has to always be changing and growing, becoming more and more what Christ wants it to be. So as the people who are coming to disciples churches are transforming, so must the whole church transform. As a church with a vision to bring wholeness to a fragmented world, we have to look at what keeps the world from being whole. And one of those things is racism. Anti-racism is fundamental to be a, a disciple. It really pushes us to the uh, fulfillment of what unity is. Unity is not just unity among churches, but it's really the unity of all of God's people, of all of humanity. Being an anti-racist, pro-reconciling church is one of the ways of bringing wholeness to individuals, to the church, and to the world. Why is it that so many churches would want to be part of Disciples? I think it has to do with this sense that anything is possible, with this sense of openness, with this sense that uh, we are a thinking church as well as a feeling church, as well as a spiritual church, that in a sense we are more right for today than ever. We're one big family is, is what it is, and, and we all work together, we all help each other. You can have an intimate relationship with God and that you can feel His presence. There's so much opportunity in this world for models of God's love. It makes me happy and feel blessed that God would call me to a place that is blessed in such ways. An image that might come to mind in thinking of disciples is the image of a patchwork quilt, where each patch is unique and precious, and each one has such meaning. But then when you draw back and look at the whole thing, it's even more impressive and beautiful when you see the whole. Disciples are like that. Each individual is so important but also when you take us together as a whole community, the beauty of that uniqueness coming together to form a pattern of love and wholeness and hope.